What an interesting movie. This is The Last Shark. And if Jaws is coming to your mind, uh, we're going to get there, folks. But the reason I bought it is, is twofold. One is it's so terrible, it's great. Uh, you know, complete ripoff of Jaws. But the second thing is its story. Holy shit, does this movie have a story. So it's Italian director, made in 1981. It got a limited release in the United States. And in one month, it, it made $18 million. And in today's uh, inflation, that's f almost $52 million. And the story with this movie is, and I found out about this. Uh, I watched a channel called uh, Sea of Tranquility. They have uh, Monsters Dan and uh, Chris Allo. He talked about this movie, so uh, thanks for that. But the story of this movie is that Universal Studios heard about it they took it to court it either got delayed or they lost it and then after the first month when this movie was actually making money holy shit it actually did uh a judge came in you know the case was reopened and the judge said this is such a fucking ripoff of jaws and jaws 2 that uh the uh distributor film ventures their rights were stripped from this movie and given to Universal Studios. So Universal Studios owns this movie, but you ain't gonna see the light of day of this in any theater. It was so much so much so that uh, FBI agents actually went into movie theaters and took film reels of The Last Shark after that court case. It's fucking insane. And it's not just that, there's, there's more to it. So uh, maybe like a quite a few years back, uh, QT was with the director of this movie and he was at a film fest and in his own theater he wanted to show off the movie so he, he called up Steven Spielberg he's like oh hey can can I show this film and Steven's like oh hell yeah go ahead and as they were about to it was like the final minute Universal Studios called in and said do not show this movie so what 40 years later as of now when whenever that was you know 30 some odd years uh after the after this release is universal studios to has a stick up their ass about this movie even though they own it um but this movie like i said it's such a fucking ripoff of jaws uh i just wrote down some of the many ripoffs that they have uh similarities between the first jaws and the second one so, of course, there's an island town that's having a 4th of July celebration. Of course, the big old shark's attacking and killing people. And then the mayor, of course, he doesn't want to close down because it's going to make a shit ton of money. There's the helicopter attack scene from Jaws 2. And there's also a boat scene with a bunch of kids, which is also from Jaws 2. And then, of course, there's a rip-off Quint character that has the worst accent known to man. Now, you might be wondering, well, this is a rip-off Jaws movie. What does the shark look like? Well, there's the good, there's the bad, and there's the ugly, folks. Let's start off with the good. So, the good, the good, the good <laughs> is that it's actually, in, in scenes, there is a animatronic, you know, mechanical shark head coming out of the water which actually looks kind of good it reminds me of i don't know if it's still there or not that uh universal studios right of jaws when its head pops out and then later on you know with the electrical cords it's all burnt but that scene is actually those scenes are actually pretty good the bed is horrible horrible stock footage like the lighting doesn't even match at all with the entire movie and in fact, one of the stock footage is actually that of a Mako shark, I believe, instead of a Great White. So uh, we're off to a great start here, folks. And then the ugly, <laughs> the ugly is when you see the shark underwater. Okay, this thing doesn't follow any physics whatsoever in terms of a shark or just underwater for that matter. But the shark itself, it's got to be like that big. And it, it looks like a dolphin toy, like a plastic dolphin toy that's just, just floating around there, fucking lifeless. This this little itty bitty thing, and yeah, it. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna spoil anything, but it just totally says fuck you to physics, uh, and uh, start starts moving things around, which is impossible for a shark to do, uh, given this movie and what it does. Um, 
I got this off of Walmart, which was selling from a site called Deep Discount, which I got for nine bucks. That site, imagine a $5 Walmart bin and then the bottom floor was actually a false flooring. You pick that up and then you see those even more shitty movies. Yeah, those are the type of movies that site's selling. I got this, you know, at the end of the day, it was nine bucks. So fucking worth it. Um, there is, which I found out later, <laughs> that somebody uploaded the entire movie on YouTube, which you can watch for free. And I will have that inside the description if you want to check that out. But as for that, The Last Shark, it is so fucking terrible. It's great. And the story involved with it just makes it so much better. So uh, just check it out if you want to. But otherwise, this was such a fun-ass time watching this movie. So thank you so much for watching. Take care.